Welcome back to another vlog. Hey guys, it is Monday. I'm getting ready for work and I'm about to curl my hair. Well, first, it is your girl Coco. On this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. And I am incorporating some weekly vlogs now just so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. But I'm getting ready for work. I do work from home, but I actually do get dressed every day. Well, except Wednesdays. Wednesdays is like my chill day. Like I just kind of just throw on like gym clothes. But I'm curling, getting ready to just like put a little bit of bump in my hair. Nothing too crazy. And I'm sitting. Hold on, guys. Hey guys, this clip got cut, but I'm sitting here listening to a gentleman on YouTube, and this is where it's going to pick up at next. Myron Golden. I, I like his stuff. I like how he he kind of puts everything out there for his viewer. Check him out, Myron Golden. He also talks about like his growth on YouTube. Uh, but he does like Bible studies and stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> Sometimes I just curl my hair just to get like a little bump, but then it don't be working. This is the baby, baby list. Um, I believe this is the nano one. Yeah, I believe this is the nano, and I can already tell this one messed up too. Sometimes I just, I don't care. But, um, <clears throat> he does Bible studies. And I guess that's what he called. Yeah, I guess this is Bible study. But I, I like I like his stuff. Very clear. If you don't really understand the Bible, um, he seems to like have a good way of getting the message out. And it's kind of like my pastor, which to be quite honest, I haven't been to church. I'm so embarrassed to say this since COVID. And let me tell you, I am still... Like, I can go into places now, because at one point, I was just not even messing with the people when COVID hit. Um, but church is so, it's, my church is so big, and it's a very packed. And it's a lot of older women and men. And I just kind of felt like, you know, I don't want to, like, those are my little friends and little ladies at church. I didn't want them to, like, get sick if I had something or, you know, if I had like a slight cold or something, but I need to go back because I do miss my pastor. He's really good. He reminds me of my old pastor in New York, like when I was younger. It's very hard, especially here in Atlanta. I feel like, like some of the churches are so, I don't even know what, what, what to call it. Um, I don't know. For those of you guys who live here, you know, like some of the churches here, it's, I don't know. I don't want to use the word for show, but it's just so much going on in the church. Like people are more worried about what people are wearing, what cars they're driving. Like, mm, I'm not into that. Like, I prefer a smaller church. Even though my church is big, it still reminds me of my old church in New York. And it's because of the pastor. Uh oh, because of the pastor. Um, so yeah, but this guy, Myron Golden, I, I like his stuff. I do. He's talking about don't let your distractions destroy your, um, your destiny. And sometimes we do let things like people and things really distract us from doing what we are supposed to be doing or what we really want to be doing. Like, you know, like a, a goal of ours or something. And he's just kind of going through some scriptures in the Bible. And I'm like, you know, a lot of people really, really struggle with that because I'll say this a thousand times. There are some meany, meany people out there and they will do things to get you off your balance and it's just who they are. They're never going to change. And the only thing you can do is just like move out the way. Don't let it get to you. And and here's the thing. It's not that easy to do that, to like ignore sometimes because sometimes it could be a lot. But I know 
and you know that <laughs> whatever you put out there will come back to you, honey. And sometimes it comes back so bad that you wonder, what did you do to deserve this, right? But there's some really, really wicked, wicked, wicked people out there, okay? Wicked, wicked, wicked. All right. So I'm actually going to go in there and put on my lippy. Because right now I just have on my regular makeup. And then, yeah. <laughs> Very simple. All right, so let me go ahead, get dressed, and then I'm going to catch you guys. I'm going to probably be sitting down or eating breakfast at that time because it is, what time is it? 7.21. I got like 40 minutes <laughs> to hurry up and get ready. I should be good, though, but I'll catch you guys in a few. But, yeah, check him out. Uh, Myron Golden. Let me make sure I spell that out for you guys. M Y R O N and then Golden G O L D E N. Simple. Yeah, really good. And this particular lesson is is don't let your distractions destroy your oh destroy your destiny. I'm gonna see if I can try to link it. I'm not sure how to do that just yet. I'm gonna do some research and see if I can link it for you guys. But all right, catch y'all later. All right, guys. So I'm back at my desk. I'm finally dressed. I did some content earlier today. Uh, but just to piggyback off the conversation earlier, Myron Golden, his that was a really good video that I just watched about not letting your distractions destroy your destiny. Let me tell you, there are some people out here in this world that know that you are destined for greatness and they will do everything in their power to stop you. And the funny part is they don't even think that they are, but they're so deep down inside. I don't want to use the word hater, miserable, that they will do everything in your power. They will even try to stop your bag, honey. And I will use work as an example. Think of someone who has the ability to give you a raise and not give you a raise. Those people, right? Those are very special people. <laughs> and I don't mean special in a good way, okay? Those folks who would put something down on paper that possibly is not true or they're really skewing the truth a lot, those are very special people. Deep down inside, there is no way in H-E double hockey stick that those people are happy at home. When you're home is at peace because that is where you are every day. You do not have time to try to cause havoc on someone else's life. So when I see people, even like I see like kids bullying kids and stuff, I, I equate that to them being at home and their parents probably abusing them, not treating them good, or the kid probably, I don't know, it's something at home is not working the way it should or function the way it should. So it's the same as for a boss or even a friend who's always throwing snide remarks at you. Those passive aggressive remarks or those fake <laughs> uh, compliments, right? Backhanded compliments. Usually it's something going on at home. If they're married, marriage probably not good um, or the husband may not treat them good. It could be a plethora of things, and I know this to be for sure because I've seen it happen a ton of times. I'm like, mm, I know that girl's situation, but why does she treat that person like that? Ah, one, she's jealous because maybe this girl's husband's treat her, treat her well, and hers doesn't. Or two, maybe she's just jealous that this other person knows how to get through certain trials and tribulations. That is something that people do not talk about. Let me tell you, if you are a person who goes through things and you don't really talk about it, you just kind of kind of breeze through it or whatever because you know it's just a moment, there are people who really have a problem with you because you know how to handle what is thrown at you. That right there, you can see that in friends. I had a friend like that. And I remember this particular person making a comment about my life being perfect. 
And I kind of, it threw me off because I was like, I don't have a mom. My mom passed away from a terrible disease, right? Cancer. And I'm like, what are you seeing in me that you feel like that? And are you really happy for me? And she wasn't because a ton of things had happened and I never said a thing to her. Okay. Three different things. I want to, mm, was it three? It was that. I'm going to say two. Mm, three. But two for sure that were like eyebrow raised. Um, and, and I just looked at my phone like, <laughs> listen, it could be your friends, child. I'm trying to tell you, they don't be happy for you. You know who's genuinely happy for you. You know who really wants to see you win. And it's just a vibe. Like you understand. So those of you who know, you know. So if you have a friend right now and you're questioning their intentions, their friendship with you, it's probably something that's probably not right. I mean, it is what it is, but that was a great, great thing to listen to this morning. For those of you guys who don't know, I like to listen to uh, reprogramming the mind stuff at night as well. Awesome. Especially if you have a ton on your mind, you want to go to bed with something positive on your mind and you want something to be speaking to you in a positive way when you are sleeping. So, but anyway, I'm about to get ready for work. I got my book here. You guys already know. <laughs> Once I'm done with this particular book, and I think I have two more, um, I'm probably just going to get like a regular journal and just journal. But I'm going to get into some work today and I'll catch you guys later. I still want to go get this toaster. I'm just like, it's a couple of things that I need. I'm just like, do I want to really drive all the way over there? I may go ahead and do it just to get it out of the way. But I need a toaster, guys. Like this, I'm losing my mind without a toaster. So maybe I'll go to Crate and Barrel or go to like William and Sonoma because I think they're both in the same area in, in Alpharetta. So maybe I'll do that and then just kind of chill over there for a little while today. It's nice today. I'm so over this. I'm not going to say I'm over the heat, but I'm just ready for fall. Like I'm ready to wear sweaters and like turtlenecks and stuff and nice blazers and jackets, trench coats, boots. I'm ready for it. But anyway, so I will catch you guys later on uh, for the rest of this vlog for today, guys. All right, bye. Hey, guys. So I'm just putting in some herbs. Got some elderberry here that I'm about to make. But I am hungry, so let's, let's make some... Let's turn this over so you guys can see. One. So I'm getting ready to make some avocado toast. I'm so hungry. It's so late. I haven't eaten. My fridge is looking empty. So let's make some avocado toast. Listen, if you are an avocado, avocado lover, when your avocado is ready and you have multiple that's ready at the same time, stick it in the refrigerator. Thank you later. I tried it out and it absolutely works. So my bread, I freeze my bread. And this is why I need a toaster, guys. I've been sticking my bread in the oven and it takes forever. So I have to wrap it up in aluminum foil because it's frozen and I just like wrap it and then sit it in there until it gets like soft because it's sitting inside the aluminum foil and then I go ahead with some big bread. <laughs> I go ahead and I um I take it, I got to uncover it just so it could get a little toasty. Uh-oh. <laughs> I uncover it just so it can get a little toasty. Then I'm going to make my, my avocados. And I just, I just literally just set it in the... In the oven 
Who else uses their their uh, dishwasher as storage? <laughs> Me. So the reason why I freeze my bread is because at my farmer's market, let me turn it this way. I freeze my bread because at my farmer's market, most of the bread, if not all of the bread is made fresh. So they tell you in the package to freeze it. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have much in it, so yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna cut up this avocado and then I'm gonna take some elderberry upstairs. So here's my avocado. Let me just bring you guys down so you guys can see. And then, so I had this in a fridge for I mean, a few days now and see it's just like perfect if you are a person who loves avocado definitely give that a try and then it's just ready like perfect so like i said i just i'll bring it home when they're like damn near <laughs> fully green and then i'll wait like a couple of days maybe maybe a few days maybe like three days and if they start, if I'm actually able to eat one, I know the rest of them are ready. And I'll just put the other ones in the refrigerator. And just kind of, yeah. So I'm going to make some avocado toast. I do have tomato. So I'm going to put that on top as well. And for those of you guys who do not like avocado, I get it. I never did either. Right before I went vegan. This was not something that I was into. And then a friend of mine was like, oh, just try some guacamole. You'll probably like that. Um, you'll like that. And then kind of venture in just to eating this without all the extra stuff. So I just put like salt and pepper in here. Some sea salt. And some, actually, I put oregano as well. I don't know. I know you guys want to hear all of this, but let me do this. And it's so ready, like, you guys see? Yeah. And I just kind of, listen, I've been watching The Walking Dead again, this is so random. And this whole part where they're like, what are they doing? They're um, the girl with the pink coat and then like that whole area with the people with the white suit. That thing is insane. I don't know. I miss the old Walking Dead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for. Um, let me get a tomato too. I'm gonna wait for Daryl's show to come out. Well, I think it's out. I don't think I have that channel. I'm gonna, ask, you know what? I'm gonna see. I don't, I don't think I have that channel, but I heard his show is rather good. So we're gonna do some pepper. We're gonna do some oregano. Let's put some oregano in here. And some sea salt. I used to buy Celtic sea salt, but it's so hard to find now. Like I have to order it on Amazon. So annoying. It's like they know when something is good. It's just like so hard to find out. But I was buying that salt for years and then now all of a sudden it's like, Ooh. all right. So I'm gonna let that cook over there. I'm gonna throw this out. And then I have my tomato. I am going to make my toast. So let's put all this back. 
Put your stuff back away, guys. <laughs> I don't think it's OCD, but I hate seeing things on a counter that does not belong. All right, I'm gonna make me some tea over here. <sighs> This is elderberry. If you don't have elderberry, Get you some, okay? I'm gonna go back upstairs with my tea. Let everything else sit here for a second. I'll probably stick, we stick the guacamole, the guacamole, the avocado in the refrigerator until my toast is ready. All right, so let's take my tea upstairs and then I'm good. So I'm gonna let that cook. It's literally just warming up to get the toast soft and then I'm gonna take it out and let it get a little crunchy for a little bit. So I'm telling you, I need a toaster. All right, so I'll probably be eating this for lunch because it's almost 12 o'clock, but let me go back upstairs and it looks nice outside. Maybe I'll go for a walk today, um, but today is Monday. I, I, got, I got a couple of things to do. I still have to buy my photos. I have to book my hotel for the trip to Dallas. I don't know if I told you guys. So I am going on a tour girl, like not trip, but like a meetup type of thing. And Peyton Charles um, is having like a meet and greet. And I thought it was like a little weird for me to be like wanting to go meet her, but I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna be out there around that same time, right? And she's having like, I think she did it before, like a Joe Malone thing. So I signed up. I'm like, I'm gonna actually be in Dallas. So it'd be pretty cool to meet someone else on YouTube because I am a very small YouTuber and just trying to like meet people would be, it's kind of hard to me. I'm not a spring chicken like I was, but. I am going to be doing a meet and greet with her, and um, that should be fun. Hopefully, everything go, goes good. She said that we should receive something from Joe Malone, and then space is limited, so I'm excited. I'll be there already, so that'll be pretty cool to meet her. She's funny as old heck, guys. Um, but um, yeah, let me go get back to work and then come back down and make finish this up a little bit in a few minutes. So that is my avocado toast. I'm gonna bust that down really quick with my tea and then I'm good. I think I'm gonna go, like I said, go ahead and get my toaster later. Um, if I do, I'm gonna bring you guys. If I don't do that, I'm definitely going to the park today, so. 
hey guys so i am finally off of work but i didn't even give you guys an outfit of the day let me see if i can do that now so i'm probably gonna go grab something to eat i got on my key glasses my uh, <laughs> my jimmy Choo mules let me put them on and then show you guys work was kind of long today i don't know i just feel like it's just been busy lately well for me uh let me show you guys this i'm thinking about should i cook or should i just go to the park and work out i may just go ahead and go to the park because i need to walk and cook my own food but let me bring this over here i'm gonna show you guys the outfit i hope you can see because it's kind of dark in here so this is the outfit is it kind of dark guys i don't know if you guys can see so i have on my frankie shop skirt my jimmy choo mules this is a zara bomber jacket a simple top from nordstrom's rack my gucci trunk bag and my key glasses guys so that's the outfit. Yeah, I kept it chill today. These are really comfortable. They're really low. And for those of you guys who don't know, I got some big feet. But these are a size 43, guys. Um, the skirt, if you have a bit of a booty, it is not going to fit you. <laughs> I'm slim, so it fits me well. But it's still a little tight around the stomach, guys. I ain't gonna lie. But that's my outfit. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the park and then just um, cook my own dinner. Yeah. Because, let me take these off, guys. So I can look you guys in the eye. I like to cook my own food 99% of the time. That is solely because, because I've been eating clean for so long, if I go to eat out and I eat something that they possibly have like you know sauteed in some oil and it's probably vegetable oil or some sort of bad oil I'm gonna feel not sick but I am gonna go to the bathroom <laughs> so I like to eat my food majority of the time during the week and then the weekend try to like you know go ahead and I call it a cheat even though it's still vegan it's just not cooked at home so yeah, I'm going to cook. I'm going to go to the park and get my walk on. And that's it. So let me just get undressed and unwind really quick with you guys. And go ahead and go to the park because I need to walk. I don't know. I've been walking lately. And not like a power walk either. My sister's like, you need to walk faster. <laughs> but it's more so just to get some sun because I'm in the house all day. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. But other than that. That is it for today. I'll probably go downstairs and cook with you guys, possibly. I don't know. I made some King Wadi the other day. I want wild rice. I've been using my new pots. And it's been... It's been a... Experience. <laughs> uh, my food does taste better to me when I cook in these stainless steel pots. So maybe I'll try my... I don't know. I feel like a... I feel like I want some pasta but then i have to make like spaghetti sauce okay so i think i think i am gonna go get some spaghetti sauce and then go to the park what time is it do i have my phone in here no i think it's about six o'clock possibly no five so maybe i'll do that there's a brand of tomato sauce from a company in brooklyn and it's really good like it's just so fresh. When I make my own sauce, it just doesn't come out the same. I don't know. It just doesn't come out the same. So maybe I'll just go grab that and then go to the park. But I'm definitely going to go to the park. If I don't go get the spaghetti sauce, I'm just going to make something else in the house. But other than that, it's still pretty early. Um, like I said, maybe I'll just cook with you guys, you know, for the night. I do have some content to work on. And just, you know, my weekly vlog for you guys sharing what I'm doing during the week. 
I'm gonna mention it again. I still need a toaster. I'm gonna get my toaster. I don't know today, not no, maybe tomorrow, but definitely need a toaster. But I will catch you guys either tonight cooking or tomorrow. Bye guys. Good morning guys. So another day for work. I am not even dressed yet. I don't know why I was running behind. So I started to set my alarm a little bit earlier because I noticed that I'm starting to lay around in the bed a little bit longer. So I set it for 30 minutes earlier so I can just actually relax before I actually get up and do all that good stuff. I don't know if it's age, but I definitely need to just like clear my mind before I actually get out of the bed. But I'm just getting on, getting ready for work. I'm gonna get dressed in a few because I gotta run outside. We go outside for lunch and get something to eat. And I got something to do other than my lunch break. So I'll catch you guys then. I probably, I don't know, I have a taste for some Spanish food. Um, but I know that it's not good for me. <laughs> so I'll probably go to this little vegan spot and get some like Thai food or something. So I don't know. I will catch you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. So let me show you my outfit. I'm going to go grab some lunch. I'm not going to put on my shoes until I get downstairs. But I have my Sam Edel Edelman <laughs> Bailey Nude sandals. And let me show you the outfit. It's a very chill outfit today. So I'm gonna have on my Bailey Nude sandals, my Gucci Ophidia, Ophidia clutch, um, my Zara jeans, and those sandals, my key glasses that I'm always wearing. But keeping it real chill, I'm gonna go grab lunch, and that's it. I have another meeting when I come back for work, um, and hopefully, That'll be the end of the day. And then I'm going to go for a walk today again. Because I brought you guys with me yesterday. But again, outfit of the day. Zara jeans. Frankie shop. Oversized um, satin top. Gucci clutch. And then my Sam Edelman shoes. <laughs> and my, my key glasses. Alright guys, I hope you guys can see that. All right guys, so I'll catch you guys in a second. Bye. Welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, I am dressed in my workout gear. I have to run to pick up something for a friend and then go to the park. The plan was to go straight to the park, but I gotta go to the mall, guys. But this mall is not fancy schmancy. So I'm gonna go grab some sneakers for her and then go get my workout on. 
today was a, a better day at work i got a lot of stuff done so i feel like i'm on like a good path with just like my to-do list was like so long but i'm glad that i was able to get a lot of the stuff done so i have came to get my keys and i'm going to run up the street for her and then go to the park and just walk oh where's my um oh man guys hold on i don't even want to take that bag <laughs> so where's my little i didn't really want to take my pouch but i have to because i don't want to look crazy in the park with a purse on but I didn't want to go in the mall. Let me grab them both. <laughs> the joys of being a woman. Oh, all right, but anyway, I'm gonna go over there. I'll show you guys the sneakers too. I'm not a sneaker head, but I know that they just, they came out like two weeks ago and they weren't um, letting them sell them until today. So I said, I'll go grab them for you. I mean, I told her this the other day that I would do it. I forgot. <laughs> um, but since they came out today, I forgot that I said that I will do it. So here we are today. I gotta go <laughs> to the sneaker store for her. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. I didn't do much this week. I feel like I'm in like some sort of rut a little bit. Like I don't really want to be in Atlanta, like hanging out and stuff. I'm just kind of over it. I think, I think this has a lot to do with <laughs> me hanging out a lot when I first moved here, possibly. And I'm just like, Whatever, my arms look skinny. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna run over there for her and then go to the park. After where are my headphones? I don't see that. Where are my headphones? I don't know. Oh. Maybe they're in the car. Don't say that. I don't want to walk in the park with no music. All right, let me find my headphones. Look at my stomach, guys. Oh, I can't wait to do start my Pilates classes. Anyway, I will catch you guys later. Bye. All right, guys. I'm on my last lap. Look at the sky. Looks crazy. And behind me, looks like that. Oh. <sighs> just good to get outside nothing crazy I really hate walking but y'all the ghetto <laughs> so that's back at the park and that's the other side all right so I'm going home and I'm gonna shower and cook I'm gonna start editing my video for this Sunday. Whew. Get a head start. Anyway. Cooking, cooking tonight. This was a good walk though. I guess I'm getting faster because I only wanna walk like a mile and a half and I seem to be getting there a lot sooner now. So that's good. I don't need to burn a ton of calories. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. I'll catch you when I'm home. Hello. Well, welcome back to another vlog. I got off of work a little bit early. I'm running over to back to the orthodontist. I'll tell you guys that whole story later about my spark aligners. Um, I am going in for another treatment. That's because I do not like the bite on my teeth. 
Now, I still recommend <laughs> these Sambas. I like them, but the, the back part is kind of annoying. But, um, so basically, I don't like my bite. It feels a little bit uncomfortable, in my opinion. So, and I don't like the bottom. I still do recommend it. I just would say pay attention to your teeth because it's solely up to you. I look a mess. Let me show you guys what I have on. I just have on. I swear I feel like I wear the same outfit all the time. Same colors, different jacket. But I do, I still would recommend, recommend it. My issue is just paying attention to your teeth. If you do not know how to, what to look for, I have a ton of videos about it. And my battery's about to run out. I have a ton of videos about it. And basically I'm telling you guys my step-by-step -step journey. I'm gonna do another one once I'm done with this set. I'm not gonna go through the whole rigmarole again, but definitely I still recommend it. Just pay attention to your teeth. If something hurts you the next day, question it and call the orthodontist. Because I don't want you to end up in a situation like me where I had to do a whole nother set. But anyway, I'm going there. I can't vlog in there. So I'll catch you guys when I come back. Bye. Hey guys, so I am back home and I didn't take you guys inside of the orthodontist because they don't be liking me to film in there. But I did get the Invisaligns back on. I got a ton of oh, attachments. Basically, they're gonna be moving up my jaw back into another position and my bite. Well, it's probably my bite that's gonna fix everything, but a hot mess. So I do have a ton of attachments on it. Let me see, can you guys see? No. And then in the back of here, there's something. <sighs> like I said, I still recommend it. Um, I just would say pay attention to your teeth because you're only going to see them but so many times. And if you guys have any questions, definitely put them in the chat because I will answer them for you because I went through this four freaking times. But I'm about to eat my little sandwich that I got and just chill out for the rest of the day. And my sister's laughing at me. <laughs> but I will catch you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, I just got off of work. Today was another long day, guys. I, I've been so busy, like, and I feel like it's being done on purpose a bit, but your girl is not gonna let it get to her, all right? But I just got off, I am hungry. Today is Friday, and I am going to finish paying up the rest of my bills, because that's a must for Fridays. And then I still need to get my toaster, I need to book my hotel for the tour girl event. And I still haven't received anything from the Joe Malone event. Peyton said that we should be getting something from the person who runs the store, I believe. And then we kind of go. So if you guys don't know, she is having like a meet and greet. I wasn't going to go, but I'm going to be in Dallas. And I'm like, oh, why not? So it's gonna be the exact day that I'm gonna be there. So I guess I can go ahead and meet her. It'll be pretty cool because she is funny as all heck, guys. So hopefully that all works out. The tall girl event. <sighs> so two issues that I have right now with the event. One is that the tickets weren't expensive. So it was like a $50 ticket and then like a $15 ticket. So I wanted to support, so I bought the $50 ticket. And I asked did they have vegan options on the menu and she told me that's all they had on the menu was regular food like non-vegan and I kind of feel like and you guys tell me if I'm being too extra that most people have an option for non pe people who don't eat like meat so I paid for the highest ticket 
so that's kind of annoying but if you guys don't know i am in the process of really trying to like i feel like i want to eat fish because i feel like i'm missing some nutrients and i've said this before like i eat really well i eat a ton of food but the food that i eat is not it doesn't like it fill it, it fills me up but it's not like weight gaining food so but i also feel like sometimes i could be a little tired that could be because some days i eat late however i could be missing a key vitamin if that makes sense so oh, i did some deep praying guys about what kind of fish should i try if i'm gonna actually do it and um i spoke to a friend of mine and she was like if you're gonna do anything do like salmon or like red snapper uh so i'm just trying to decide it's kind of hard because i've been i want to say vegan for a long time i'm just finding out that plant-based people eat meat didn't know that but it's just a whole food plant-based diet so I'm gonna take my time I would definitely keep you guys posted on how I feel <sighs> it sucks but you really have to do what works well with your body I'm not going to change anything that I'm eating I'm still gonna buy everything the exact same all my plant-based stuff I'm just going to be adding in that huh <sighs> And I'm probably going to add more vegetables, vegetables that I don't really try. And just kind of see, you know, how I like it. But let me show you guys my outfit. I don't have any shoes on right now because your girl was working. So I just have on my Zara jeans, just like a, it's not even an oversized shirt, but just like a pink top. I had on some pumps, but I'm not going to put that on when I run outside. I'm going to throw on probably some slides and just run outside. But, oh, I gotta go to Ikea as well. Maybe I go to Ikea. Well, I gotta go to the city tomorrow to meet my friend. Yeah. But, I'm gonna go downstairs and get some of this stuff done. Move my camera over here. And I gotta get my friend her sneakers that I... picked up for her <laughs> so i'm gonna go downstairs and finish paying some of these bills and then i'm gonna run outside today was a long day but i feel like they're giving me a ton of work and i don't i don't even care i just like to cross things off my checklist because what i'm not gonna do is be overwhelmed I, that's not gonna happen not ever <laughs> i will tell somebody that i have too much on my plate and if they tell me I can do it, I'm just gonna work it in my time. Okay. So that's my big spiel on the the fish. Yeah. It, I've been thinking about this for months now. Like a lot of months. So I think I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done. I'm so scared. That lady be jacking me up. But anyway guys, so I am downstairs. I'm gonna just finish paying up the rest of my bills. And I'm going to run outside. I need a toaster. I need a I need to book this hotel. Book the hotel and kind of get moving. I've been watching this show on TV and maybe I'll you guys probably have seen it before. It's called Black Summer. Yeah, Black Summer, I believe. It's kind of like a Walking Dead type of show. But honey, those uh, those little Walking Dead folks, they fast. They're not like the Walking Dead ones. They was a little bit slower. But I'm gonna, um, guys not be with my book all the time. I'm pay the rest of my bills here and keep it pushing. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna give you guys the, smeal, the spiel on my Invisalign. I don't know if you guys can see. Child, they got something under here in the back. And basically it's stopping my bite from going all the way down. So I guess when they're gonna shift this, cause that's the issue now. I didn't have this issue before. I'm just, I'm, I didn't have this issue. So this in the back is stopping this from going down. 
So I guess when it's shifting, it'll kind of stay in position and not shift this, but shift the back. It was a different orthodontist. I've never seen him before. He was a black guy. <laughs> um, I think he works at the other location. So I got a ton of attachments on, not in the front, but they're like all in the back. I think this is gonna put them back to how they were that the second time. Cause that third set is what screwed me up. So, <sighs> but let me pay the rest of my bills here. Cell phone bill first, and then what else I need? Oh, and that bill. Paid that, paid that, paid that, paid that. Uh, this is, did I do my water bill? Yeah, I did my water bill. All right. All right, so I'll catch you guys if I go outside. I am, I need a toaster. Oh my God, I need a toaster. And I'm like in the middle of like buying that Smeg one. That thing is expensive. But, I don't know, I'm gonna see if I drive out to Alpharetta and check that out. But, I'll catch you guys there. And I still need a car mount for my camera. If you guys know of one, please let me know. Something that's not gonna, I don't know, those suction cups just, they don't work for me in my opinion. But, um, yeah. You guys let me know what you guys think about me eating fish. It's been, I don't even know how many years it's been since I've been plant-based. Like, ugh, a lot of years since I've been plant-based. But I started out alkaline. But like I said, I'm not gonna take anything else out of my diet, out of my eating regimen. I'm just gonna be adding in some other things. And if I feel a difference, I'm gonna start up really small. Oh my God, it's so loud. It won't even let me mute. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna start off really small um, and go from there. So, mm, I'm nervous. They said don't eat anything with a head, right? But I'm nervous, but I'm gonna do it. I just have to, you know, each body, everybody's different, right? We can all eat plant-based all day, but some of us may need an extra something just because of our body. Um, so, yeah. But this has been heavy on my heart for a long time. I bought some fish like months ago, never ate it, wasted my money. So I just want a really small piece and just like a small piece that I can cut into two and probably eat the, the rest the next day. Um, and just hope that I'm good because it's been a long time. So. I'll give you an example. When I eat like broccoli, broccoli would tear me up. It never used to do that. But I think it's because I've eaten alkaline for so long that that happened. So we'll see. My friend's like, I just don't want you to go ham and start eating shrimp. I was like, mm, you already know. I love shrimp. But I, I'm just going to do the fish. Um, and, that, and that's it. And just go from there. But let me know if you guys have ever struggled with something like that like trying to make a decision knowing that it's probably better for your health um but you were just kind of stuck i guess i'm stuck because i've been plant-based for so long well alkaline vegan and then i'm still vegan because i don't eat meat but this fish is going to be an addition it sucks but i don't know your body talks to you and you just have to listen to it like so I'll try it out and I'll actually give you guys a rundown and see how I feel. The day that I cook it is the day I'm gonna show y'all <laughs> so I can have a record of when I ate it. And then I'll tell you guys how I feel and stuff, but I don't wanna pop a bunch of pills either. Like I already take a vitamin, which I like the vitamin. Um, I like it, but I don't wanna have to take this, 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 this. Like I don't wanna have to do that, so. Anyway, let me pay my bills and I'll keep you guys posted. If I go outside, I'm gonna bring you guys along and then show you guys what I purchased. So I'll catch you guys well, later. Anyway, I got some food. I'm gonna go. I gotta edit some videos tonight. So I'm just gonna eat and shower. Do you guys shower before you eat? Or do you come in, take your clothes off, get comfortable to eat and then shower? Me and my sister had this debate the other day. <laughs> what do you guys do? Also, do you wash your face and brush your teeth before you get in the shower, or do you do it in the shower? Let's talk. <laughs> All right, so I'll probably do a nightcap tonight, a uh, maybe. Um, if not, I'm just gonna eat here and chat with you guys once I get 
situated. Um, once I'm back downstairs, I'm listening to, I'm gonna watch some YouTube. I like to watch Peyton. Peyton stuff is, she's so funny to me. Who else? I like to watch Monroe. Um, who else? There's a guy that I like to watch. He, he, he juices a lot of the healthy channels, plants, you know, like plant-based stuff and just a ton of stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm tired. I'm a bit tired. My eyebrows came out good. She did a good job. But let me tell you, she had these things coming all the way down here. So now I have to go upstairs and situate this and get some of it off. But she did a pretty decent job. But I have decided, I told my siblings that I'm gonna buy the um the salmon. All right, I'm gonna buy the salmon. And I'm gonna eat it this weekend. They're both like, just eat a small piece. Cause it's been so long that I haven't had salmon. But that's the plan guys. Yeah. Gotta make sure I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I'll give you guys another update on the teeth. Today was a good day. They do feel like a, this side over here is a little sensitive, but I definitely feel like something's moving, but I feel the pressure here. So I'm gonna wait, ho hoping that this stuff doesn't shift here, um, but it definitely does feel, oh, you know what? It's probably opening up my bite that's probably what it's doing. It's probably opening up my teeth because I feel like it's shifting. And then once this is up, they're gonna like situate them again. This was a crazy, four times. Like, they messed up with that over, I don't know why would they put over correcting, it still boggles my mind. To put that in the retainer set, like, it, it doesn't, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense to me, but like I said, I still recommend it. I just know that you have to pay attention to your teeth. Yeah. Which I wish I would have paid it. And I knew something wasn't right, but whatever. But anyway, I'm going to go take my clothes off and then come down and just eat. And then edit my video and then go shower for night night. Because my behind is tired. Yeah. I got some Thai food. Their food is pretty good, but um, it looks like they're opening up like a noodle spot. So I'm excited about that. I, I don't know if I'll try that. It has to be like healthy noodles though. But anyway, I will talk to you guys probably tonight. If not tonight, then you guys will see this vlog. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back downstairs. Let me show you the food that I get. Now, it ain't the most healthiest, but it is brown rice. And let me open it up. It's just Thai. I try to make it myself. It comes out pretty good. I just don't buy brown rice. And it's just like a mix of stuff, mushrooms, bell peppers, um, there's some basil in here, so they put carrots. And then I get these vegan crab rangoons. So good. I wish I knew how to make those. Uh, but that's it, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Got my glasses on, your girl need readers, okay? But thank you guys for tuning in to this vlog. This is gonna be a weekly vlog. I'm gonna start doing them. I'm gonna try. I just need to get into the routine of filming the stuff. <laughs> um, but I took my Invisalign off so I could eat. Uh, but thank you guys for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you are subscribing to my Instagram, Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. And my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. The style services are for women who are looking to build a wardrobe um, and not really kind of follow what everybody else is doing. Put pieces in their wardrobe that they could actually wear all year round or year after year. But anyway, I thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys later. Bye guys.